from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Mark chapter 3 verse 13 to 9 to 19. At that time, Jesus went up on the mountain and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed the twelve to be with him and to be sent out to preach and have authority to cast out the demons. Simon, whom his son named Peter, James, the son of Zebede, and John, the brother of James, whom his son named Bornages, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Tadeus, and Simon the Canaanite, Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus appoints individuals who associate with him closely to understand his mission and he sends them out to be the one to preach, to take the good news to others. In yesterday's gospel, the demons knew him. They knew him better than the apostles actually. They knew him much better. But he commanded them not to preach about him, not to talk about him. Now he chooses those human beings and he prepares them to go out and proclaim and evangelize and bring the good news and also have charge over the demons. The first reading today I think helps us to see how God assists man, human beings to develop. Jesus, God worked with the Jews, the, the Israelites in the Old Testament, the first covenant, as the letter of the Hebrews makes reference to it. But in our own times, he has worked with Christ to assist. When he worked with the Old Covenant, he says that was somehow on the tablets, which actually Moses brought as he came down from the mountain and found the people worshipping uh, a calf they had made out of gold. Moses broke the tablets he had brought from up. Jesus comes in his own body, comes in a body. He does not bring tablets, but he himself comes in, his, in a body. And it's in that body in which we have a new relationship with God. It's not a relationship on stone tablets. It's a relationship through person, the person of Jesus Christ. As it is, Christ has obtained a ministry which is as much more excellent than the old. As the covenant immediates, it's better since it's enacted on better promises. That is Christ. Christ is the new covenant, better than the old covenant. And it is in his own life, in his own body. And that's what the apostles who are being selected have, have, have to go out and preach about this new relationship with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray for one another that we may listen carefully to the voice of Jesus Christ, how he directs us, how he directs us in our day-to-day -day life, that as we go out and do our work 
as we go out and relate with others, we bring that voice of Christ to others. But that voice must also transform us in our own lives.